Hi guys, in this video I'll be doing a walkthrough of one of the lessons in level 1 using the teacher's manual and the activity book. Then I will do a flip through of the teacher's manual after. If it is you are new to the program and you're interested in some more free samples, you can check out their websites for some free samples of both the activity book and the teacher's manual. They also have their um, placement tests on there and some other free stuff that is worth checking out. Also, each level gets you um, prepared at the beginning. It tells you how to set up for the program, um, so that's worth checking out as well. All right, so lesson 24, it's going to start off by telling you what you would need. So in this lesson, you need the activity book, the blast off to reading pages, and it tells you what pages you would need, and also the word cards. All right, so if it is you are following along, as it's laid out here, you can get the word cards for that lesson out. Um, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have the, um, as many as I have in this box to start off. I have um, one, levels one, two, and part of level three in this box. All right, so that's what you would need. Now, most of the, the lessons where they're teaching you a new um, concept follows a similar flow. The reading lessons are a little bit different in that it's more so just the reading activity or the reading lesson sorry from one of the readers this level has three readers so it will just be the reading lesson they'll go through like specific word concepts it may have a little bit of a review and it might have an activity um, connected to it as well so the reading lessons are a little bit easier and then the other lessons take a very similar flow to the lesson that we're going to be going through today all right so lesson 24 so you need the pages and the word cards. It goes through by, you know, kind of giving you a little bit of note, um, a, a little note to read about consonant blends and consonant, consonant blends and consonant teams, because they are going to be learning about final blends using both consonant blends and consonant teams. So if it is you are a little bit rusty, I like this program in that it walks, it walks you through it as you are teaching it to them. So. That's pretty, pretty handy. A consonant blend is different from a consonant team. In a consonant blend, each letter retains its own sound. In consonant teams such as sh and ch, two letters combine to make a completely new sound. All right, so you will read through the beginning here. Um, sometimes I would choose to read it aloud and then go through the examples, but you can just choose to read it and then, so to speak, you know, chew it up and then just kind of explain it to them in the way that they would understand best, depending on the child and the situation. The intended um, lines for you to read out loud to them is usually in quotation marks, all right? But you can just read, read it through, that will work fine too. All right, so you go through and you read through, and then there are some examples here for they to start practicing consonant blends and it's differentiating that the blends, the letters retain their songs, whereas consonant teams, the two, two letters come together to make a new sound such as th, sh, and ch, all right? So first they're going to pra practice final blends using consonant teams, right? So in dust, the S and the T, keeping its sound and so forth. At the bottom here, reminder about the practice sheet, so it's telling you the what the, um, the intention what the in activity sheet, sorry, I intended for, and they are intended to help them improve with their um, with their fluency and comprehension by making them um, better at automatically being able to identify um, certain words. All right, and to decode, making the coding words easier. All right, so you're gonna go through that section. On top here, it still has a before you begin section. You continue to read through that then it goes on to a little bit of a review now for the review section you have your phonogram cards and your word cards here it says review the phonogram cards that are behind the review divider in your students reading review box show the card to your student and have him say the sound if necessary remind your student of the sound all right so the way how it has it set up here you can put the specific phonograms that they are struggling 
with behind phonogram cards for review and then put all the other phonogram that they have mastered behind this one and keep your future phonogram cards behind here and you do the same thing with the word cards of course you can choose to use it however you choose to but they that's their suggested the suggested way that they have it set up all right so you will get the phonogram cards that's behind the review section all right and you go through those and then the same thing for the word cards before you start now we are beginning the new teaching blend sounds with letter tiles at first they are going to start working on blending consonant teams right so they're starting sorry about that they're starting with the word land it says build the word land with letter tiles so you're just going to tell them to build the word land on the if you're using a magnetic board with the tiles or even if you're just using the tiles on a table or whatever. So they're building the word land. And here in quotation marks, it says, so you're going to read this out loud to them. Sometimes there are two consonants at the end of a word, as in the word land. Listen and watch as I blend the letters in this word. L-A-N-D. So as you are starting off, you're going to go through it as slow as possible as time passes on and they go through the levels they get so much better at doing this so you're going to touch each letter and sound it out one at a time oh ah mm, d. and now it says now go back to the beginning of the word slide your finger under the letters oh, ah, mm, d, and say land slowly finally read the word land at the normal pace as we do when we speak land and then they have an example that they can work through and basically follow what it is you just did so they're working with blends first now they're going to work with consonant teams right the code words containing two letter phonograms build the word lunch the letter tiles lunch so they're going to use these individual letters and then the CH so that they understand that those two ta those two letters come together to make a team, right? So they're going to use the specific CH tile. Sometimes one of the sounds at the end of a word is a consonant team, as in the word lunch. Listen and watch as I blend the letters in this word, lunch. And as you can see, it's in quotation marks. So that's intended for you to read out loud to them. And then you're basically going to do the same thing that you did with the word land. And then in the end, you're going to say it as you would speak it, right? And then they are going to work through the word tenth with the consonant team so that they will be able to go over what it is they just learned. Now we move to the activity sheet. Now this specific lesson has quite a few activity sheets and the activity sheets are not intended to be completed in one lesson because as you can see it as you will see it will it can become pretty um it can become a lot if it is they were to try to sit down and try to do all of this in one lesson especially when they're now starting off right all right, so it says word flippers for final blends. Remove pages 139 to 145 from the blast of activity. So it's basically telling you to set up the little flipper book. And I know that these are, this is one that we did do because I actually still do have some of these flipper books in, um, in the binder. All right, so you're going to create the little flipper book and what it's going to do is it's going to have specific blends, final blends. And when they flip the book, it's going to make the words went, sent, bent, lent. So they are using final blends as they build a little flipper book in a, in, um, a series of final blends um, in succession. All right. So they're going to practice nt, mp, st, and so forth. Then they are going to work through and this may be another like another day it does not have to be the same day they're going to play the matching socks games so again they remove pages 147 148 cut out the individual socks and put them in random order on the table with the words facing down have a student find the two socks that match 
and then read the words on the back of the socks, right? So they're going to be making pairs, trying to make pairs, and they're going to say the words at the back. The goal is for them to have a little bit of fun while they are practicing their consonant blends, all right? And some of them, well, some of them will be teams and some will be blends. So you have st as a, as a blend, whereas you have ch being a team. All right. Now, these are the two activity games that they will be playing. But in the activity book, it also has um, quite a collection of consonant blends and consonant teams for they to go through. Whether it's um, over a couple lessons, like um, during a couple lessons, or if it is they are struggling with a particular blend, a particular team, there's a group of words that they can go back to to practice those specific words, all right? So you have quite a few pages with some new words. Then you have final blends containing two letter phonograms. So a couple words with some teams. At the end, some final blend teams there. Then more new words. And then some phrases. And in the program, it does encourage you to have them read from left to right. So they would say soft quilt, munch on lunch, as opposed to soft quilt, lend a hand. There's also some sentences to continue with that practice and some more sentences at the back here. So it's quite um, a collection for there to practice the using of consonant teams and blends at the end of a word, all right? Then over here, you have your word cards. So have your student practice reading the word cards on word cards 103 to 111. And it will basically be some of the words that was used within the lesson, but a selection that was chosen so that if it is they needed that constant practice, they could take those specific word cards and go through them over and over to practice the blends and team at the end of the word, final blends. All right, when they have mastered it, you can file those that they have mastered behind mastered. And if they need to review some, file those behind review. All right, then they are going to teach them a leap word. And in this lesson, it's was. These are basically high frequency words that are better learned um, by sight as opposed to trying to sound them out um, and because they are used quite um, frequently it's important that they know those words so they choose when to um, introduce those new words I think that it's in accordance to when they are going to need them in the readers um, but um, nonetheless they teach them a lot of those frequency high frequency words throughout the program all right, then at the back here, it tells you to refer to the new word section in your activity book. So that's when they indicate to start going through the, um, the new words, basically for them to practice their fluency. All right, so remove pages 149 to 152 from the activity book. Activity book, have your student read from the practice sheets. And again, they don't need to, you know, go through it in one sitting. They encourage you to read a story or a poem and then if it is you're using the trackers you know when my kids were younger I used to have them take a sticker and put it on the little chart you know and that used to you know work for them when they were younger all right so now I'll do a flip through of the teacher's manual
Alright, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you in another one. Bye!